Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. Today I'm going to show you how I did a single line electric fence around the perimeter of a chain link fence. And these are the supplies that I used. Insulators or the standoff that you see over there. The standoffs come with these nails, but because I'm putting it into a metal chain link fence, I had to go with these self-tapping sheet metal screws. That way I didn't have to drill. So the screw goes right through the insulator and the insulator mounts onto the fence post. You determine the height you want it up off of the ground. I opted between four and six inches depending on the grade just because the puppies love to push out underneath this fence. The wire I went with was a simple 17 gauge and it was a quarter mile. Now I didn't need a quarter mile, but it was more economical to go that route. Galvanized grounding rod, the ground clamp here, and the controller. So the first thing I did was go to every single chain link fence post. Take one of the insulators with a self-tapping two inch screw and screwed those into each individual fence post. As I would get a few of these standoffs done, say three to five, then I would just continue running the wire right behind me. For right now, the only opening we have, don't touch, don't touch, back up. No, back up. Oh. The only opening we have is up at the front. Now, not all of my corners were 45s, and what I'm just showing you here is how I double wrapped the wire on these corners to get it to stay in place. And as you can see, this goes all the way up there, attached the same way to each fence post. This is the tightest corner out of it all. As you can see, this one's probably close to a 22 degree angle. So I came in over the top here and wrapped it a couple times and then had it going out. Again, another gate, but I opted rather than even use this gate for right now, just leave it solid. I can create a handle later on, but the whole goal was to have as few breaks as possible until I can get the pups trained. This is the only area that I created a gate or a break. So to break the connection, you simply take this handle, unhook it, and now the fence is dead because the continuous circuit was broken. So to make the gate, I connected a piece of that galvanized wire down there on the bottom of the handle. And then I put the wire through this hose and attached it into the electric fence here. Okay, now that that's done, the way that you get power is tie into that last offset, come up and tie into your power on your power box. Now the other knob that's on there is for your ground wire or your bare wire. And it goes into the grounding rod. And that completes your circuit. Simple extension cord, plug it in, and this thing is up and running. It took me basically two pretty easy days. A lot of rain delays. There's no reason that this could not actually be done in one day. And the beauty of it is no special tools were needed whatsoever. Even putting the wire on, that's all hand stretch don't touch so far my sweet Stella and my poor Juno have each touched it alrighty then I want to thank you all for stopping by have an absolutely wonderful and blessed Christmas I will see you next time on how I did it take care <laughs>